I'm Darlene Cavalier, I'm the founder of Science Cheerleader, the founder of SciStarter, and the co-founder of eCast, Expert and Citizen Assessment of Science and Technology. All these three, three things weave together, and here's how. With Science Cheerleader, this is an organization of more than 250 current and former professional cheerleaders from the National Football League and the NBA, um, but they're also scientists and engineers. So we work with the science cheerleaders to cast a very wide net to attract a whole bunch of people from all different walks of life to the idea that they can actually be involved in research projects, formal and informal research projects, also known as citizen science. So we work with the science cheerleaders, again, who are scientists and engineers, to activate citizen science projects and mobilize people who aren't usually involved in these types of projects. So after casting the wide net, we get people involved in citizen science projects, many of which are aggregated on a size starter which was the second organization that I mentioned. So we move them from science cheerleader to SciStarter to actually do science. Once we get them involved in those science projects, one of our goals is to also allow them to see ways that they can have an impact on policy. ECAST, Expert in Citizen Assessment of Science and Technology, is a policy-focused organization. It looks for ways to involve the public in things like technology assessment and matters that Congress in the United States, that they're thinking about. So how can they tap the public to better understand the societal implications of some emerging technologies coming down the path. We hope to be able to create this tunnel, this pathway, for people to have jump on points and ultimately be involved in those conversations. One of the projects that we organize and are working on with uh, the UC Davis, University of California Davis, Science Cheerleader and SciStarter, we're all brought, uh, principal investigators in this research project, is called Project Mercury. And this is a study to compare microbes on Earth to microbes in space, namely on the International Space Station. So this is a great example of a project where we work through the science cheerleaders to collect 4,000 samples, microbe samples, from shoes and cell phones. 48 samples will be heading to the International Space Station in March, will they be analyzed for their growth rates, and on the space station, the astronauts will be swabbing the inside of the space station so we can compare those to buildings that we've swabbed, which include if you know about the NFL and the NBA in the United States, sports is a very big thing. These include these NFL and NBA stadiums. So we're actually having a microbial Super Bowl contest on the space station next month. But one of the highlights of this is that one of the science cheerleaders was able to swab the shoe of Buzz Aldrin. So these are just some of the fascinating ways, I would say, that we engage new audiences and get all, people from all walks of life just jazzed about the idea of um, having a role in science.